Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Healership Path. I'm Rita Hickman, Shiatsu Massage Therapist and Body Mind Expert, and I do these videos Monday through Friday uh, around between 8.15 and 8.30, and they're all about things that help people learn how to heal themselves, how to help heal people that they love, and how to uh, start a healership practice of their own, how to get out in the world and take their talents and all of the things that they're very good at and uh, really bring it into the world. So today's topic is about getting into alignment so that you can manage your pain. So for so many years, uh, I've dealt with uh, pain, uh, digestive pain, in the morning. And because I have, it's always been a very, oh hi, Yulia. It's always been a very uncomfortable morning for me. And it's taken me a few years to realize how to get things into alignment so that uh, I, I'm not as uncomfortable, so that I can deal with pain. Because I'm one of those stubborn people, you know? I don't want to take any medication for it. I don't want to go see the doctor about it. I don't want to do any of those things. Hi, nice to see you. Um, so I don't like to do any of those things that, that probably a lot of you don't like to do either. And so I've really specialized in how do I get things into alignment how to, in my life and in my environment and in my body so that I can manage all of, the, um, all of the different aches and pains and discomforts and problems, whether they be physical or emotional or anything like that uh, during the day. So if you've ever noticed when you try to ignore or avoid or deny something that you're feeling, um, it makes it worse. You know, we're able to cut it off for a while either by taking some Advil or by, you know, having a glass of wine or by distracting ourselves with something else. And those are great tools. But we're not always able to deal with that because sometimes we have to stop, don't we? Sometimes we have to slow down, stop taking all the drugs to numb ourselves out, um, stop distracting ourselves with things and really feel what's going on. So I want you to do a little exercise the next time that you feel something that uh, is uncomfortable for you to feel. You know, thoughts, when you think thoughts, when you obsess about things, when you problem solve them, when you get in your head, really it's just another distraction. It's just another way that you're trying to run away or get away from feeling uncomfortable. And that's so common and normal. I mean, it's a great way that you can get away from feeling uncomfortable uh, without taking drugs, without, you know, keeping yourself super busy. You can sit there and think and obsess and problem solve and figure it out, go round and round in circles. You know, it's a very natural, normal way to distract ourselves from how we feel. But have you ever noticed how exhausting that is? How much that wears you out? You know, when you're done obsessing and thinking, you don't have a lot of energy left for anything else. And all you really want to do is shut down because now your brain's tired because all it's done is gone in circles, round and round, until uh, it's worn out and then until you need to completely collapse because you can't think anymore. So the way to handle this is think about what you're feeling. Focus on what you're feeling. And it seems weird sometimes to think, well, I want to avoid the pain. I want to stop thinking about the pain. And so I'm going to think about something else. But if you think about the pain, if you put the thoughts in your mind, uh, I'm in pain, this hurts, I'm uncomfortable, what it really does is it brings you into alignment. What causes a lot of exhaustion and what causes a lot of um, even more pain, m emotional, mental, physical, what makes it even worse is when you've got inner conflict, when you're denying or ignoring how you really feel. When you acknowledge and own how you feel, uh, even if it's as simple as saying to yourself, my back hurts, my head hurts, my foot hurts, my heart hurts, even if it's something that um, seems inconsequential, if you own it, it makes it easier and it makes it uh, better to deal with and the pain's able to go away because instead of you denying it and keeping it circling around and around and around you're actually able to feel it and here's a little bit of science behind it I uh, talked about this yesterday the science behind feeling uh, and healing is when you pay attention to something your body now knows that that's what you want to heal that that's what you want to fix 
So when you pay attention to the pain, when you pay attention to where you feel uncomfortable, your body rallies its forces and it rushes in and it starts to actually heal you. So you are keeping yourself wounded, you're keeping yourself in pain the longer you try to deny what you're actually feeling. Now, you don't have to um, think, oh, I'm feeling that uh, they hurt me and they did this to me. That's the thought process again. Instead, just acknowledge exactly how you feel. I'm in pain. I hurt. Um, I'm miserable. I'm uncomfortable. And when you do that, as counter as intuitive as it seems, that brings your body and your mind into alignment. What's not in alignment is when you sit there and try to problem solve something, when you try to figure it out, when you decide who's to blame, when you go into the whole personal growth expert sort of thing of how can I be better or what can I do differently or who could I be different. You know, those are both just opposite sides of the same coin. It's a mental distraction that keeps you trapped in how uncomfortable you're feeling. When you own how you feel, and you don't have to own any other thoughts except exactly what your body feels. It tells your body to make it feel better, to heal it, to put it back on the right track. And you'll find that uh, typically the symptoms will start to go down. The, uh, and usually within about 20 minutes or so, the pain many times will go away. And as I said, if it doesn't go away, it at least dials it down enough so that it's manageable and you can make better decisions. Maybe then you realize, oh, I'm dehydrated. Oh, I need to eat something and I'm ready to do that. Instead of wasting all of your super precious energy trying to um, figure out why you feel so miserable, instead, take that breath, dial into how you feel, own it, acknowledge it, feel it, and that's what tells your body to, um, to make it feel better. So I hope this was helpful, and if it was, please go to inspiremassage.com. Sign up for our daily emails. Uh, they're, they're meant to keep all of us on track, and uh, we'll be starting our Healership Path membership soon, and we would love for you to join us. So you'll be able to be a part of that group uh, if you go and sign up for our emails now. Thanks so much, Mara, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.